All right, so you hear me uh, and everything sound clear. Appreciate it, man. Um, apologize for the technical difficulties all together collectively uh, as we put everything in the right box of, of mind and attitude and, and of things of that nature too as well. Um, this game here is just going to be a staple piece of what Dak Prescott can do out there on the field. I have no shot of a doubt, no reason, no hesitations, no deviations. You can still play PlayStations, uh, but uh, we're going to get things going in the right direction as it relates to Dak Prescott to number 88, number 11, 411. That's the information out there. Um, the, the Zeke situation, uh, who is that? Replay 23. Uh, the, the Zeke situation is that he's going to be allowed to play week one, but then the, uh, uh, the, the opposite end of things, the opposite end of the spectrum is that they're going to actually the nfl is going to try to uphold his uh his appeal and they're going to say that he's going to get the uh, six games so it's going to go further on down the line so this is a little different than tom brady situation because now you're talking about violence right you're talking about a young lady that supposedly or allegedly hurt uh, or was a uh, beat up or or, or cast dispersions upon from Zeke. So those are things that uh that people have reservations on as far as marketing dollars, as far as revenue dollars from the uh from those who uh who donate to the NFL for uh research and development and things like that. So those are uh are um things that the nfl is facing backlash and stuff like that if a video ever to come out so the nfl according to article 46 feel and believe that the uh they have the right to to suspend or or put people out uh just just by sure of, of that information you know of, of anything that they feel that can damage the shield and um that's the problem um when you have an organization that allowed the uh, the commissioner to be judge, jury, executioner, uh, side lawyer, uh, 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 just just because he can draw up his own plan, can pull his own uh, milk, water, whatever you want to call it. Now you're having a problem, you know. So if you put everything in a glass ceiling, glass prism, um, it just it's just horrible. You can drop it and bust it into a thousand pieces. But at the same time, they come unscathed, they come uncut, they come uh, uh, white as snow, they become pure because they are the ones that can write the rules and regulations how they feel. You got players throughout the NFL. One will have a DUI and he get two games, the other guy get one. There's no clear cut um, reason or explanations of how these things all transpire. You got one guy that can beat up a woman and get one game suspension. You got one guy that can beat up a woman and get 10 games. You got a guy that can whoop his child and get 6 or 8 games and, and then later on get put on the exemption list and all those things. So there's so many fickle of a process when you look at it collectively. So many things that, that can become unscathed unfathom of, of our thoughts of what the NFL really is. And uh, if you can just look at everything from what the NBA does or the uh, whoever the soccer league is and, and the baseball association and all those other sports uh, contemporaries, they don't do these type of crazy drawn out quote unquote penalties of of player conduct. They they kind of caution themselves to not put themselves in the light. And when you put yourself out there then 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 you get these type of ripple effects. You get these type of uh of issues down the line. Uh salute to Ricardo and yeah I don't have no video. I'm in a new place so I think either my webcam got damaged from in the process of moving. So um Hopefully you guys can see my my mug again <laughs> when I fix it up. Uh, maybe I got to go and buy another camera per se. But uh, outside of that, um, it is what it is, guys, man. I thank you guys. I thank every last one of you guys that's in the chat box, whether or not you root for the Cowboys or not, uh, whether or not you troll or or whether or not you got any insight or any NFL knowledge or things of that nature. I just like to re reach out to you guys and just spit what's on my mind, what's on my thoughts, what I can do to uh, to lament the actual information that I know to get you guys in the right light to see 
to see the pattern of, of the NFL to just shed the truth to break down players and, and stuff stuff like that you know at the end of the day <laughs> I may be gone tomorrow I may be gone five years from now 10 years or 15 years I may live forever who knows but this right here live forever my voice my my passion my thoughts are going to live forever on this youtube planet or or on uh facebook or those who follow me on instagram and twitter tweeting me and all this good stuff that's good stuff out there guys that is good stuff um let me see that's horrible i law bust out and cash bruh <laughs> bust out the cash bro yeah 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 i see what you're saying uh, uh ricardo king quad what's up fam um it is your highlights i like that name call of dookie <laughs> could you please subscribe to the channel hey guys go out and subscribe to the channel and my guy how about them cowboys subscribe to his channel thoughts on the game um i want to hear if you're a giants fan i want to hear your prediction I, I didn't hear that prediction yet you know if you're an Eagles fan, who who they play week one? I don't even know. And in, in the uh, in the uh, Washington team down there in in DC area, who they who they playing in week one? You know, I have yet to look at the roster. I'm only looking at my team. I have yet to even watch um, first take or, or today or or even the uh, undisputed. I don't even know what's going on. I just been out of the loop all day today, man. It's just been crazy. You guys should have told me Dallas traffic is like that, you know. And Dallas traffic is crazy, man. Um, we're still on the chat. This is South of Haven 88. Yeah, South of Heaven, man. Uh, reach out to his channel. He got all type of jerseys for sale. He can uh, customize your jerseys and all those things. Reach out to him. He can get you looking good, fresh, and fly out there for the game. Especially uh, when you want to get out there to the stadium, you want to have your your appear on, and you want to be able to represent your team. Go go to my guy, man. Uh, South of Heaven, eighty eight. Um, who has Eagles at Redskins at first at one p.m. Okay, Joshua C. Salute to you, my guy, Roy in the house, my brother from the south. That's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah yeah so the eagles will play so that's 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 very um intriguing there um i can't wait to see uh what carson wentz is gonna do and uh, so many people are saying that uh with lane johnson he's like five and one and lane johnson supposed to be the best i'm talking about the absolute best right tackle in the nfl so i can't wait to see that and see what's going to transpire through that game i want to see the eagles do something out there right since they bloviate and putting them in the in the light that they are the best team since sliced bread i can't wait to see that you know because actually uh i just feel that that, that the uh the dallas cowboys is gonna be one of these teams that is gonna just set this league on fire again there's something about that number four dak prescott call me a homer but come on that guy you know, elevated his team and he elevated the uh, mississippi state and put them on a map name me another quarterback that did that or did something comparable to that to close to that but uh it is what it is dallas traffic is bad yeah call of dookie you're right mr espn yes baby much love brother yes 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 i love the uh the feedback that i get from you guys i, I really man when you guys see this jay elliott tape that i got out man this guy flying out to the ball He's uh, cutting corners and just being able to get upfield. Uh, he's doing all those good things. That's what I really need. I need to get off this chat and just go in there and finish up that film. Because this guy, I'm telling you, <laughs> I don't know for the life of me why Green Bay got rid of him. I know he had back spasm. He had the same type of injury, quote unquote, that my guy, the Marcus, where has, you know, with the little back situation, the neck groove. So maybe they were scared of that and they wanted to get something, you know, pro NFL scouts and pro people say you, you trade them two years before time, before it's two years too late. But for a seven and a conditional, a conditional type of pick, hey, you know, I do that every time. I, I'm telling you, Will McClay is one of those guys he can wheel and deal. And I'm thinking that even with this team, even though we got the other guy too, from the, snatched him from their practice squad, the, the price guy, 
He's so big and massive. You put him beside even Paya. You can put him beside uh, number 96 Collins. And you know, I, I lamented that earlier on the first uh, show uh, with uh, with Derek, uh, Project Shanks. Go follow his page. Go follow his website too as well. We got some inner workings too as well to get his website out. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys that down the line. But this guy, uh, Price, and you're talking about the Jay Elliott. I know there's a lot of Green Bay uh, players out there that we we, we looking at, but collectively and looking at this all together, is that I'm thinking that what Will McClay is doing and what Rob Marinelli is doing with this front line is that we're going to strengthen and we're going to try to better our best on the line, which is going to deviate and leave pressure off the actual secondary. And that can happen. Uh, shout out to you, man, too, as well. Again, it's your highlight. Um, and, and with that mindset of uh, attacking the middle of the pocket, not allowing the quarterback to skate and slide out and, and making a quarterback either one dimensional running to one side, which is their strong side. Then um, and then now you're talking about something that, that, can, that can happen, you know, well, you know, out there on the field. So I'm thinking that with this team collapsing the interior of the pocket, making the quarterback getting antsy and passing the ball, rushing through his progression or rushing through his reads or what have you, it will be a better suit for the Nolan Carrolls of the world who can't turn his head around that great and be better for the, uh, uh, the Jordan Lewis's and the, the Cheeto Awuzie's of the world. And, and also the, uh, it woods, if he can find a way to get out there on the field and we all know what Heath can do, uh, when he put his mind to it, he can play pretty well. And Byron Jones, if he can take the right angles, we're going to be okay. <laughs> Although I have my reservations still on them. It's kind of like um, the best analogy that I can give. I trust my car. Yeah, it got 100 and over 160 on the dash. Yeah, it can go from zero to 60 real quick. I got a nice car. But at the same time, I still have a spare tie. And, <laughs> and you got to have your spare tie out there. So even though you can trust your secondary who's the spare tie and the spare tie will be maybe a veteran that can come in and lead that uh, lean on with his pedigree and his knowledge so some veteran out there is going to be probably the next move that we do uh salute to how about them cowboys i'm talking about the best name on youtube that's my favorite saying too as well dak and dads must step it up with zeke gets suspended yeah they're gonna step it up regardless you know um and Dak and Zeke Dak and Zeke Dak and Dez I meant to say is gonna step it up regardless of the scenario I, I really think that everybody that's in this chat box everybody if you can think about it if you go back to last year right Dak Prescott exploded on the scene before we even saw Zeke play with the Dallas Cowboys uh, uh, throughout that line because if you look at the first game the the, the LA Rams well uh, uh, what was the LA or St. Louis yeah LA Rams when he when he was just lighting up the board there everybody was like man this guy from Mississippi State he, he's missing the ball he's doing a lot of things but keep in mind look at it from the other aspect of it Zeke Elliott wasn't playing that game right so can Dak do it without Zeke that's the million dollar question I say yes you know look at the Miami game Dak lit up the score and that was without Zeke and we all know that everybody gonna say and cry hey it was a preseason game no no Dak was doing things that you just didn't really see and of course Cooper Rush is doing it was well was doing it this year but Dak Prescott was doing it on an even higher level than Cooper so and then when somebody try to um argue the fact and, and try to put out the uh, put out to the masses of of that can't do it without Zeke. I want everybody to do if you have the NFL game pass, if you have that um, in your repertoire, go and watch the second game, Dallas Cowboys versus the Redskins, the Washington team in DC, the Washington Redskins. Go and watch that game from start to end, from the beginning, start to end. And you will see that Dak Prescott, although, you know, Ezekiel Elliott wasn't flashing and doing all his jazz that game. Go back and see, and you will see and say, you know what? At the end of the day, after I looked at this game again with a different angle, Dak Prescott won that second game. 
<laughs> you just go back and watch it, man. Just look look back at those old films. Uh, what is it? Who this? Vaquiri or Vaquero Cowboy. Shout out to you. Um, yeah, and my Cowboys family, salute to him. Go follow his page. They do live shows too as well. Um, let me see what I got here before. I wrap this thing up, man. I just want to be able to just reach back out to you guys because I know I had the technical difficulties earlier, and I just wouldn't wouldn't feel right, you know, just leaving out without giving you guys some more of my thoughts, my opinion, my opinions, my my mind, you know. Thought I would just be bad. So we have, uh, you know, uh, all right. So we still have some people in the chat box. We still have some people in the room. Uh, Victor Baker in the house. Salute to you. Go follow his page. The guy is hilarious. Uh, all right, Space Cowboy Seventeen too as well. Um, I have them going, but here's what Victor says, right? I have us going five and two while Zeke doing his uh, uh, what bid unless otherwise. Um, yeah, um, I can see them going five and two, but yeah, that, that that's a that's pretty much a fair, you know, you know. Five and two, I, I can see that. That that would be a good plus. I don't think that anybody would frown upon that. And I was space cowboys. I hate doing the this sub me up for the cowboys vids, but I hate doing it. But what's whatever. Yeah, space cowboys. Yeah, um, it's cool, man. It it is cool, like the other side of the pillow. Uh, when when somebody say, hey, you know, support my page, follow me, and I follow you back. I know it can be some time mundane uh, tactic of, of uh, promoting, but, you know, people have their way of promoting just like uh, you, you turn on the radio and you have these uh, crazy funky commercials and stuff like that. I just read it for somebody to be honest to me. You know, uh, if you want to uh, Zach Dorsey salute to you too as well. Shout out. Go follow his page. Yeah. So when people say, hey, sub me and I sub you back, I don't mind subbing you back, you know because it's all love it's cowboys right around here so but it's all good guys uh kelvin grimes long the only thing that scares me is the offensive play caller um you can say that you can say that before Dak was there um i think the offensive play calling was kind of scripted in a way whereas you knew or kind of knew what was going on um that was going to transpire so it, it don't scare me this that much this year because I think, you know, Tony Romo was able to improvise in a in a fashion, right? I think Dak Prescott improvises too as well, but he improvises in, in a in a different kind of sort of type of way, if that makes sense. Um, I think that his ability to run to as well and his ability not to just hold on to the ball as long as as Tony, because Tony will hold on to the ball because. The guy was a cerebral, if that's a word, so I can't talk today, but he was able to be a technician of the mind. But Tony Romo, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to just say I love Tony Romo, but Tony Romo's demons were that he wasn't a workout warrior. If Tony Romo hit the gym and he did his push-ups when he's supposed to do it and he had a better diet, then maybe some of these things that uh, some of these hits he could have uh, avoided or or maybe he could have got off and, 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 and just threw the ball away at, at the right time. So, Tony, we always kind of held our breath on, you know, either he's going to be hot or he's going to be cold. He just was never the guy that was indifference in between. And if it was, it was just always getting around to that fourth quarter to make things ha- work out. And you, and you guys to love uh, his, his his mindset and his temperament to, to do that behind a poorish offensive line. So Tony was able to improvise in that fashion. And we loved it. We loved those those plays where he can get skinny and, and spin out at the right time and get the ball down the field. But Dak Prescott, he's not going to do all of those things. He's going to be cautious. He's going to be um, a protector of the ball, per se. And instead of uh, trying to wait that extra five to ten snaps or seconds, he's going to go and get the ball out to number 11. And number 11 is going to skirt and move up the field. And we live to play another down. That's what Tom Brady did. And I'm not calling Dak Prescott Tom Brady, but if Dak Prescott have another year, quote unquote, like last year, then the writing is nearly 
almost imprinted on the wall. That's the truth of the matter of the things, you know. And, and I'm not calling, this is what King Quad, I'm not calling Tony Romo soft. No, he's, he's far from being soft. If anything, he was hard headed, you know. He need he needed to slide it at certain times, but then he, when he slid, when the last time he slid, he snapped his back in half. You know, you would like for him to die forward on that pass. But that's 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 uh, pretty much pandering and and going back and 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 having um, what you call that twenty, you know, uh, what do you call that when you have a uh, that's that's just you looking at it from the. Uh, from the perspective uh, of, of looking at things from I forgot how you call it but you guys know what I'm saying that's us going back and looking at it from the uh, from from a blind from a vision with 2020 yeah 2020 vision you know but uh, outside of that man um, it, it's gonna be okay with, with Dak Prescott he, he looked like he built the par he looks like he's a war workout warrior we don't have to worry about that um i heard on one excerpt that he liked to eat tacos so and, and mexican and all that stuff food but uh the kid is young and he can you know burn most of that stuff off you know but uh, you guys got me down the whole road but uh neither here nor there this game coming up this weekend sunday night live ezekiel ellis should run with a vengeance uh, just like the, my favorite, and I'm talking about my favorite movie, um, uh, the the, um, the Pulp Fiction movie, the path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the iniquities of the selfish and the tyranny of the evil man. But blessed is he that is in the name of charity and goodwill, shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly thy brother's keeper and founder of lost soul. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those attending the tending to uh to, to hurt and destroy thy brethren and you will know thy name is lord when i cast my aspersions on you or my vengeance on you that was what ezekiel elliott is gonna do he's gonna have that pope fishing type of scene type of running and he's gonna shut up the ben mcadoo's of the world and it was kind of funny because they was talking Ben McAdoo was saying if you can close up the lane and a lot of Giants fans was out here saying yeah we can stop Zeke we can stop Zeke uh, last I looked Zeke ran 107 yards on him averaging 4.5 yards per carry I believe on that last game so and if they were to run the ball a little bit more then maybe we would have a whole different type of talk track about um, what Zeke Elliott and what the Cowboys can do versus the Giants right so we, we just have to wait, man. It's going to be a nice game. It's going to be crunk in the city. Um, everybody get their popcorn ready. Whatever beverage you drink, go ahead and make sure you stock up on that. Get the ice ready because it's going to go down, guys. It is going to be 2-1-4 like King Quad said. My cowboy family, he will run wild on Sunday night. You right. You right, man. And Julius, who hey, you right, law. Yeah, you. we all right up in here. <laughs> Yes, indeed, man. So, um, same about the Cowboys. Same about the Green Bay game. Yeah, you're right. And uh, who's this? Fiend? That's Kelvin Grimes. I said that. And who's this? Fiend? Max uh, AM. AM. Yeah, they can't stop Zeke. No, nah, they can't. All right. So, guys, um, that's almost my time. I tell you what, I'm going to give a little bit more it's what 954 where i'm at i'm gonna try to squeeze it out to always 10 o'clock i supposed to uh make a quick run to the store but it is what it is um let me see zeke gonna eat that's from breed 901 guys let me know when it's 10 o'clock sharp salute king quad and i'm gonna try to squeeze this thing out you guys put your prediction in the box man get on wax man put your stuff down on wax so that when people reviewing this tape and reviewing this game and they seeing everything they have your name next to the score like this i'm gonna put my score prediction down and that way if i'm wrong i can eat crow nothing wrong with that booyah that's what i'm feeling you know 
Now, if it's north of 31, then I'm I'm an even happier man. Now, this gonna go on out to the ether and people for life and life beyond this will be able to see that man. Look, law put down 31:14 and and it happened. You know, uh, screw Roger Goodell, he sucks. You're right, man. You know, but what he's sucking is even more. You're right. You know, Sean asked 28 to 14. I can see that. I can feel that. You know. Somebody can give some Dan Bailey love in the house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, many. Yeah, 2117. Oh, that's a close game. That might be the thriller, the thriller and the Manila. All right, 3120. Julius. Yeah, Julius or Julius. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Brandon, Braden, uh, 2723. But I'm not saying the, who's the winner. Hey. We can he look. I like that man. You know, giving us a little imaginations to the process, right? But the uh, thirty-four seventeen sounds about right. Breed nine hundred one. You talking about maybe a, a Dan Bailey get into the mix? That's plausible. Roy uh, twenty-seven twenty. Yeah, you know. So this going on in the ether, guys. Everybody going to be able to look back at this uh, maybe Monday and say, hey man, these guys were fools or these guys were dead on right we need to get the lottery numbers together jackie uh hello law nation what's up you know we will win 28 to 17 plausible plausible i see a lot of 24 to 6 24 to 17 that's 10 men um okay that's possible what is that dan uh we got 34 23 that's a shout out right there with switz punt return to the touchdown oh that will be nice that will be nice if Switz can do that. Um, Thirty-one seventeen for my Cowboys family. I can see that. You know, uh, I can see that. That's very plausible. Look, look, Dan Bailey action too as well out there in the, in the score prediction. Yeah, uh, if you guys play fantasy football, I just can't. I just can't play fantasy football. I just can't see myself rooting for another team or another player. So maybe i can just get beyond that phobia and, and pick out a fantasy team one day maybe it's not too late but uh i can see that 27 17 that, that sounds possible now if you just do a graph of the uh the giants offense from last year i think they only scored 21 points uh maybe twice or once or something like that all last year so if their offense and got together even better this year then it could be possible they can score over 21 so the safe bet is to say hey you know um this team just doesn't allow a lot of points if you look at it overall and 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 you can say okay well maybe they can get two touchdowns and that's it you know you know who is it wainer oh says cowboys win 30 to 10 now who's gonna be brave enough to say it's gonna be a shutout (laughs) like 30 to 0 or uh 21 or zero maybe it's a low scoring game who gonna put that out there <laughs> we'll we will have a lot of reservations i will shut up real quick if we want to score like 10 points that's gonna be crazy like 10 to 6 or 10 to 10 to 7 type of game that's the type of game i definitely don't want to see look at my guy matt ass 24 to zero baby <laughs> three to zero now that's gonna be a crazy game man Cantrell that's that's crazy three to zero I wouldn't even want to I'll, I'll turn the TV off man I, I'll just be like man that's kind of like Dak Prescott throwing like four interceptions Eli Manning throwing five type of interception type of game and maybe a couple fumbles here and there yeah we don't want to see that at all um 21 to 10 I probably can live with that 38 to man and that's, that's what I'm talking about that's, that's like a Hail Mary Josh 34 to 14 i thought about i I really did thought about 34 38 i meant to say the 14 i really thought about that um josh yeah two to zero (laughs) yeah we pandering now all right guys uh, it's 10 o'clock i gotta get ready to go to work tomorrow um that's pretty much ooh 42 to 10 man if that happened ty man I, i'll buy you whatever beer you want um if you drink that if not i give you some ropel water maybe some gatorade or or something like that we'll keep it keep it straight for you guys 
shout out to How About Them Cowboys. That's really been my time. I really thank you guys for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Salute. I'm out. Peace.